All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Love this day. I don't know about you guys, but uh, we don't have to travel. And it's always beautiful in New England, regardless of the weather. So I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying your day as well. What are we doing today? Well, first of all, you know, uh, Thanksgiving. You could I could skip over Thanksgiving and we could just do a regular song of the day. Boring. Uh, or we could come up with something more creative. But you know what? There's something to be said for tradition. There's a reason why traditions are traditions, right? Because they work. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I did this uh, last year, but you know what, you just, you got to do it again, because first of all, last year, I didn't think I'd be doing this this year. And secondly, how can you, how can you not, right? How can you not? So I think you already know what I'm talking about. So we're going back to October 1967, 54 years ago, Arlo Guthrie releases Alice's Restaurant Massacre. That's the actual name of the song, by the way, affectionately called Alice's Restaurant, which is the name of the album that it's from, by the way. Uh, this was, as you all know, a satirical uh, protest of the Vietnam War draft, right? Uh, it is largely based on a true story. It pretty much is embellished in spots, but it's pretty much spot on. Uh, but first and foremost, massacre, you think he's just saying that word. It's not a made-up word in that that's actually a word they use that originates from the Ozarks. And they use that word, which means when something is messed up and the results are hard to believe. So it's not massacre. It's not as bad as a massacre where people died. It's actually just when something is just a surprise, like it's just, you can't even believe that's what happened. So you can incorporate that if you want. You can say massacre. Uh, see if you can work that into conversation around the table today. Uh, again, it was an exaggerated but mostly true story about uh, he and his friends in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, not that far from where I am in the Berkshire Mountains of Massachusetts. It's kind of a resort area. Very small town, population just over 2,000. Uh, it is the location of the Norman Rockwell Museum, however. And you also heard in uh, James Taylor's song, Sweet Baby James, right? The 1st of December was covered with snow. So was the turnpike from Stockbridge to Boston. Remember that? So there you go. There's your Stockbridge stuff. Uh, but yeah, he had some friends who were living in a former church and uh, it is a true story he stayed with them and they asked him to take the garbage to the dump and they drove to the dump in his VW uh, bus and the dump was closed and so they saw a pile of trash and they put their trash there and they did the, for the best part of this uh, one of the best lines in there is when he says that yes I can't tell a lie I put that envelope underneath that garbage. That was always one of my favorite ones. And then also the 27 8 by 10 glossy pictures with the circles and the arrows and the description on the back. He did indeed be appear before a judge and they did pay a fine and they did pick up the garbage. Uh, Alice's Restaurant is in the chorus. It has nothing to do with the song at all. It, his friend did have a restaurant. Uh, Alice did have a restaurant. Uh, he even says in the song, this has, you know, has nothing to do with it. And it's true. So it's kind of funny, his songwriting, he's like, well, I need a chorus, so let's just do that. And uh, another part of my favorite is when he says, uh, when he gets to the part where he wants everyone to sing along with him. And they said, you got to wait for the chorus, it'll come around again. Like, you know, it's pretty funny. Uh, he, he wrote and performed this before the single came out. He did it at the Newport Folk Festival in July of 67. Uh, and that's when it, we became pretty popular after that. So it was clear that he was going to have to release that as a single. And he'd been performing it on radio uh, a little bit before that as well. Uh, I went to number 29 and it was on the charts for 16 weeks. Uh, so 
it's just for some reason the tradition is to play it on classic rock or even modern rock radio every thanksgiving right when you grew up as a teenager you just knew you're going to hear it and you don't ever hear it at any other time <laughs> so that must be f interesting for him as a as a musician to know that his song is going to his royalty check is going to come in january every year after he gets all those millions of uh streams uh for one day out of a year it's arlo guthrie day of course he uh changes the lyrics over time when he does it live he's done 20 minute versions of it he's updated it he's done all kinds of stuff with this song he even uh, has fixed uh, some of the language in there that might be offensive today uh, but the, the radio stations keep that pretty much intact as far as that's concerned but uh, it's a it's an american tradition to play this song so that's going to be your song of the day and the only other song that i think about on thanksgiving it's not you know it's a, a another parody or another comedy is when uh Adam Sandler did his turkey uh, song on Thanksgiving. So we'll post that below, but that was always, always a favorite of mine, always. So that's a good one. Anyway, whatever it is you're doing today, don't forget to listen to Arlo Guthrie's Alice's Restaurant Massacre. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for Octane Friday. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.